did you come to know Dr. Raymond Heimbacher? Well, Ray Heimbacher was a member of the staff here at the Toronto General Hospital. When I entered the surgical training program, initially in general surgery, and then uh, when that was finished, and I'd done my time at Harvard in the Mass General, I came back to the Toronto General uh, to complete my training in cardiac surgery here in Canada. And uh, he was one of the inspirational teachers uh, in the division at that time. What would you remember him best for? His curiosity. I think that would be fair to say. Ray was, uh, I would describe him as a renaissance man. He had many interests. He was very involved in uh, gimmicks and tricks and innovation and new developments. And he was always trying different things in terms of valve surgery. Got involved early on in the transplant uh, program. And uh, not unusual to sit down with Ray and uh, he'd have a diagram or he'd have a piece of equipment and he would invite input as to how it might be used or how it might be developed further. He really did have a true curiosity. And that's with respect to cardiac surgery and what we were doing. Those were very exciting times because valve surgery is really in its uh, infancy. Uh, coronary surgery was just beginning. Transplant surgery was a concept more than a reality. Uh, and he was very much in the forefront of thinking of what one might do to make a difference in that connection. And the other aspect about uh, Ray Heimbecker uh, was with his wife Kathy. They were very generous hosts. I mean, for those of us that were from outside of Toronto in particular, uh, not knowing a great many people, always welcome uh, in their home and had many a pleasant evening with them, became a essentially extended members of the family. He was always very generous in that way. What would you say Dr. Heimbacher's impact is and has been on you personally? Well, I think the interest in, uh, in valve surgery. Uh, now, this division at that time was a real innovator and creator in valve surgery. Um, people recall that Bill Bigelow had been very involved in development of hypothermia and cardiopulmonary bypass. But there was a great deal of uh, non-pump uh, mitral surgery going on at that time. So even in those days, uh, Ray and others anatomically very interested in the mitral valve and the aortic valve and how to approach them and what to do about them. Quite apart from what he was doing here, he was a pilot, an accomplished skier, ran a pheasant farm, raising pheasants for Air Canada, and then got involved with squab. Uh, very interested in nature and uh, how that evolved and loved to be out there. He really had a whole range of interests which he pursued and he was very good at many of them. And where would you put him in terms of, you know, cardiac care in Canada in history? Well, he was one of the pioneers without question. 